This is an entry for the Space Frontier Foundation Space Vid Vision Contest. The question of the contest is, what should the future of human spaceflight be? Here's what I believe. While America was actually the second nation to venture into space, space travel has played a unique role in America's development into one of the technology leaders in the world. That's why I believe that there must be a push by Americans to send explorers back into space in the coming decades. A lot of the major technology we use today has its roots in developments made by smart engineers for the space program to help deal with the limitations and harsh realities of space. I hope that in coming years, the government will find a way to expand NASA's budget to allow them to develop missions and plans with an open mind and without fear of going over budget or not having enough money to complete the programs. If NASA's budget can once again approach the levels of funding seen in the 1960s, there are few limits on the progress that could be made in space. Just think, NASA's budget is now just over 0.5% of the national budget, and they are still managing to design a program to go to the moon. While in the 1960s, NASA's budget was 5% of the national budget, and at that time, they were not even operating the array of su successful probe missions NASA currently supports on the side. In the future, I hope the coming presidents will set both a mandate to NASA to put humans on another planet like Mars, and that they will wholeheartedly fund the program. While NASA expands the boundaries of our knowledge, the current breed of young space companies like SpaceX, Virgin Galactic, and Bigelow Aerospace will pick up the slack behind them and provide opportunities for common people to experience space and for companies and universities to experiment in the unique environment of space and more easily design commercial projects in orbit like new space telescopes and space power resources. But one of the most fundamental things that needs to happen and that will happen, I believe, is a new excitement about space and space travel. That is why I come to places like this rocket launch in the heartland of America, where men and women, young and old, are keeping the fundamental excitement of spaceflight alive. It is here and in universities around the country that engineers have begun to voice their excitement that so many companies are having success in the space transportation sector. For engineers like me, it is not that the design of airplanes is boring or unfulfilling, but it's the innate human desire to explore and venture into the unknown that drives us to support the new development of space. I hope that coming generations of Americans, and especially the coming president, see the need for exciting new goals and advancement in space, and help to drive new developments and make America once again the uncontested world leader in space exploration. Thank you.